Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Parisima. Alrighty then, I thought it'd be a lot of fun today to draw Max from the Grinch since we drew the Grinch on Thursday. Let's go ahead and draw him today. Let's first go ahead and draw out this cute little guy's face, the circle for right now. After our circle, even though there is he's a dog, he still has an eye guideline, so I always like to draw that and then where his nose and nose nozzle is going to end up. So from that point, we're going to go ahead and place one eye here, big round eye, and then we're going to go over here and place his other big brown eye over here as well. So nice and round, a little bit curved. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually make this a little bit closer. And then we're gonna bring up one eyebrow over here. And then one eyebrow kind of close over here. Still kind of a bushy eyebrow. After that, we're gonna go ahead and give him one circle pupil area to him. So we're gonna make this a more of a final line this more of a fine line and then we're going to bring over this circle pupil area then we're going to go ahead and bring down one side of his nose going alongside of his eye go right out In. Give him a little bit of a dimple, and then right at the edge of his nose, I mean the red ed edge of his nozzle, schnozzle, schnozzle, we're going to put a big black nose, and it's going to come off just a little bit, round it up, and go in. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and give him one nostril here, and then one nostril here. This part of his head should be going down from his eyebrow. His eyebrow should be going off of his face, so it goes down, across it, right alongside of his eye. Then you see a little bit of his cheek. Then you're going to come back here, just a little bit, bring down this side of his other side of his mouth. We're going to round that back in. And just round it in towards his face. Then what you're going to do is you're going to give him a couple pieces of teeth. So we're going to go right here, give him a couple teeth here, a little bit of a tooth here. So this is our actual line for the top of his mouth. We have his little tooth here, and then an eye tooth, and a little tooth, and then the back goes up. Then we see a little bit of his mouth right here, and then we see a couple of teeth in the back. And then his tongue's going to go out. to his tongue and then we have another tooth here going alongside that jawline another canine another tooth another tooth and this goes up I go right below this so his tongue's going more into his mouth and then I'm gonna go ahead and shade inside right here where we see his canines we don't see him.
So we're just going to give him a little bit of an eyelid because he's an illumination dog and we noticed that they have more characteristics, human characteristics. Then this part of his mouth is going to go down. Okay, bring it up just a little bit more and then we're going to bring down this side. This part of his neck is going to go down and bring down this side. Then we'll start to go into his little body. Now let's come up to his ears and to his hair, which are very, very, very important. So we're going to go to his ears first. His ears are really long and they're going to go in front. We're gonna bring up his his forehead and his hair, and his hair goes outwards. And back into his overall head. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring out this ear, same length. Let's keep it the same length. And another super huge important part of Max is his color. So you're going to go ahead and start from over here, round it over, bring down the bottom of his collar, round it back up. And we're gonna put a couple of, a lot of studs on it. So one stud. Four stud. So let's make this a little bit more like cleaned up. I mean, Max is a dog, so he's a little bit hairy. Let's clean up a couple of guidelines. Let's take a look at his eyes really fast. His eyes definitely have that really strong upper eyelash line. Same on both sides. And then we've got a nice shine in the eye, nice shine in the eye. And then we're going to give a large pupil, super large pupil, and he's got brown eyes. Eyebrows are definitely a different shade of brown compared to the rest of his body, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly color that in. I'm gonna give him this line off to the side for just to show more of a nose ridge. This one is going down to his nose, and this one's going down. I'm gonna draw, draw through his collar for right now. You're gonna go in, and I'm gonna draw also through his ear, and circle around to give him that cute little body. He's a teeny tiny thing, and he's not exactly a normal shaped dog, so I've got so he's got like a big head, but a teeny tiny body. Then his legs are pretty easy. So we're gonna go into his chest, which is still pretty, just one straightforward kind of shape. You're gonna go down for one leg. Keep it a little bit thin and plus thick. So that's one leg on one side. And we're gonna jump in front and create the leg on this side. So he's got really teeny legs for right now, where he's gonna go down. Down from his butt and into where his leg would go. So they always, dogs always have like this crease going outwards. It's just the bone ligaments. So you're gonna go up and back. Same thing over here. You're just going to go ahead and mirror almost the exact same thing. So we go down. By going backwards just a little, just going above it a little, it looks like it's leaning. So 
we're just mirroring that right there. The thing about Max's feet is that instead of paws or anything, they're kind of like the Grinch's feet, so they're furry and they go outwards like this. Now another thing is to go ahead and give them that big floofy tail. I think that's most important. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of the tail goes up. It looks like a foxtail almost, so it goes up. Kind of like a big ginormous C, and then we're just going to bring it outwards. And bring it down. Big fluffy tail. Alrighty then, so there you guys go. There is how to draw Max from Illuminations, Dr. Seuss, The Grinch. It's going to be such a good movie. I have a video to teach you Max, and then we have a video to teach you how to draw The Grinch. So we got our dynamic duo right here. So make sure you guys, if you haven't drawn The Grinch already, Make sure you go and check out my videos. I posted it on Thursday, and I hope you all will have a most wonderful day and go see The Grinch from Illumination. 